many parents wonder, what is your parenting leadership style? So this is an interesting question. Like when I hear leadership style, like is it like dictatorship and things like that? So I'm curious, Sandra, when you were uh, parenting your kids growing up, uh, did you consider yourself like a leader? Actually, Vince, no, I didn't. You know, I, look, I knew I had my first child when I was 30, okay? And it was, my whole life changed. It was like, oh, I've got this child in my life now. What am I going to do with it? And I, I also knew that I didn't want to parent my children the way that I had been parented in some ways. Uh, we came from... Um, you know, like the baby boomer era where, you know, you'd smack first and ask questions later. And I knew I didn't want to do that with my children. So I took some positive parenting classes and I had the terrible two situations going on and I, I just didn't know what to do. However, I never thought of myself as a leader and I never thought of myself as a, as a leader in a way that, you know, brought leadership home to the family. I mean, in my work, in my work environment, I, I thought of myself as, as a manager and having leadership skills. However, I never thought to bring that home to the children. Um, so, yeah, that's a very good question to ask. And come to think of it, I'm thinking, well, you know, what leadership qualities could a parent have and apply? Yeah, it's a very good question, Vince. Mm -hmm. So, what, what kind of what kind of styles can there be when it comes to uh, leadership for for kids? Well, as as I've mentioned before uh, in some past videos, that uh, you know I'm a disc master and have been using the disc behavioural model for a long time, over twenty years. And what I found is that some styles do have, um, how would I say, more natural leadership qualities within their style. For example, the D more dominant style has has uh, an assertiveness uh, virtue, as I call them. I call them these human qualities that come naturally to the D style, where the I is friendly, very friendly. And being a leader, I think the first port of call is about being able to build rapport, even with your children. And those children that you have, whether you have one or five or four, all may have a different disc style. And so it's really important to be able to adapt your approach and your style with them to build more rapport. And I think being in a leadership role, it's critical to be able to build that rapport and to, to be open and friendly at times. And, and I think discerning when and how to adapt is the key as well. Yeah, yeah. And I have this amazing app on my phone, guys, I'll share with you. It's called the Virtues Project app, okay? Virtuesproject.com. And you can download the app and it gives you all these amazing definitions for all the character virtues. There's over 50 or 100 of them. And so I highly recommend as a parent that you download the app on your phone and you you start to use these definitions with your children. Um, and I've also encouraged you, Vince, haven't I, to download the app onto your phone as well. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so start to use the language of the virtue when you're moving into more of a leadership role. For example, uh, friendliness. You know, how, how, do, how do you be friendly? Some styles just kind of don't really know how to be friendly. Not that they're not friendly. However, it's your facial expression. You know, when you go into a social situation, how do you be friendly? Are you open with your energy? Are you smiling? And is that smiling real or is it fake? You know, is it fake? People know. People know when you're not being authentic. However, the virtues allow you to adapt your approach and your style and once you learn to practice the friendliness virtue it, it makes it makes it much easier to build the rapport with 
with the, with your children and, and with anyone really, even the hubby or the wifey or the partner or the sister-in-law, anyone in your family. Yeah. Yeah, that's an excellent point that uh, parenting, all those like understanding people is not just for kids, it's also for other family members as well. And that's a really good uh, resource that you use that you, you mentioned the app and we're going to put it in the link, put the link in the description of the video here and definitely recommend you to, um, to download it to your, to your phone and definitely use it as well, right? <laughs> I'm fine just downloading it and not using it. Mm. And yeah, if you found this uh, video helpful to you, uh, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel to, uh, so that you get updated when we post uh, new content. Uh, anything else you, that you'd like to share about parenting styles, Sandra? Well, I have, I have a, a, last little, a last little tip, guys, okay? Now, someone in the family steps into the leadership role often kind of naturally, okay? Whether it's the father or the mother. And so it's really important to, when you are parenting together, and there are a lot of single parents out there and they take and naturally take on the leadership role because there's no one else. But if you're parenting together as a father and a mother, then it's really important to both be coming from the same page when it comes to leadership. Because there's nothing worse for children than being told two different messages from two different people. Okay and which are trying to achieve the same result. And it makes life very confusing for the, for the children. So it's about having those moments of truth speaking together to come up with like a leadership plan. Like for example, my husband, he's a high eye. He's very happy for me to take the leadership role. I'm always steadying the pace as a high S in the DISC model. You know, I'm steadying the pace. I'm, I'm getting everyone lined up with those systems which is what leadership is all about and and he's happy for that to happen and so we've all uh, called organically fallen into who is leading the charge yeah so you know have, have a conversation uh, together as a couple and and work out how's that going to look coming from a leadership perspective mm. so i mean that's all that's all that i have to share on leadership and, um, you know, as, as we finish here at People Smart, uh, we're all going to finish off with an elephant kiss, which is what I highly encourage you share your kids it's with your kids as well. So what you do is you put your hair, kiss your fingers, and you put your hand out here. Vince, I'm sending you an elephant kiss. <laughs> Catch you next time, guys. <laughs>